Hello everyone, welcome back to Recap. I'm Christina. Today, I'm going to talk about the American post-apocalyptic horror thriller film called Bad Bounce. Let's enjoy until the end. At the beginning of the movie, a woman named Mallory informs two young children that they will go on a long journey down the river in a rowboat. She strongly instructs them not to remove their blind force or they will die. After that, the three of them leave the house and start traveling by boat. The next scene shows five years earlier a pregnant Mallory is painting. Her sister Jessica visits to her and tells her that the store is crowded because something is happening. When she turns on the TV, she sees all the news channels are reporting about a mysterious outbreak that has ravaged parts of Eastern Europe. The symptoms of the virus are very strange. Anyone infected will immediately want to commit the unthinkable. However, Mallory doesn't take it seriously, thinking that the outbreak is far from the U.S. A little while later, she goes with Jessica to the OG doctor. After a prenatal checkup, Mallory witnesses a woman smashing her head repeatedly into the hospital window. Everyone panics and Mallory hurries to live with Jessica. On their way, hundreds of people have become infected and are attempting to end themselves one will or another. Cars are colliding, people are falling and other shocking events are taking place. Suddenly, Jessica starts staring into something only she can see that drives her insane and she deliberately crashes her car. She then walks in front of a speeding truck and is killed. As Mallory flees on foot, a woman invites her into her house for her safety. The woman then sees the entity before going into a trance and sitting inside a burning car. A passerby Tom picks up Mallory from the street into the house where six other people are taking shelter. In the next scene, everyone gathers in the main room and discusses the supernatural phenomenon that is happening now. A while later, everyone is aware that the entity is untouchable and that staring at it will result in their demise, so they cover all the windows and blind for themselves whenever they go out. After that, Mallory mentions the woman that came to help her, Sims saw her mother and started talking. The woman say that woman is his wife and her mother's been dead 10 years ago. In the present, Mallory and her kids have been on the boat for six hours now. At times, they cover themselves with a blanket so that they can take off their blind force. Mallory tries her walkie-talkie to check if someone's nearby. But all she can hear is the invisible entity whispering her name. Back to the Paris, while Mallory and the other survivors are talking, suddenly, a survivor named Olympia arrives at the door and begs to be allowed inside. Dragula refuses but the others eventually persuade him to let her in. When Olympia enters, it is revealed that she is also pregnant. Later, Greg comes up with an idea. He decides to inspect the CCTV cameras to see what's going on outside. Greg sits in front of his computer and observes the footage. Suddenly, he notices something and instantly freezes. It appears as if the entity has possessed him. After a while, the others hear a loud bang from his room and when they rush to inspect, they find Greg lying in his own pool of blood. This makes them realize that the entity can possess them even via the computer, so they destroy it immediately. In the present, it's been 14 hours since the family has been rowing in the river. Suddenly, Mallory hears a man's voice, saying it's okay to take off her blind force. Realizing that the person might be infected, she orders the children to stay low and keep their blind force on. Soon, the voice which appears to be coming closer, mentions that he has food. He also claims to have seen the entity, which he described as friendly. Just then, he lunges towards the boat, but Mallory is propelled. She strikes him with a mature and finishes him off. In the next scene, 
We are again taken to the pets, where the group has ran out of food. Half of the group goes to the grocery store. Charlie walks out to restore their dwindling food. They drive there in a car with covered windows, using GPS navigation system. In the midst of their journey, the GPS begins to beep violently, indicating that the entity is nearby. However, Tom manages to get them out of harm's way and into the store. The group immediately rushes inside and stocks up on whatever they can get their hands on. Meanwhile, Mallory notices Sam part buds and decides to take them home. She notices the entity's presence agitates the box. Later, Charlie's co-worker attacks the group, attempting to force them to look at the creatures. However, Charlie sacrifices himself to save the others. They make it back to the house. Sometime after, Felix and his girlfriend Lucy steal the car and drive away. Back in the present, the family has spent 24 hours on the river. Mallory has become so tired that she ends up colliding the boat against an old track. This results in the wine tumbling into the river, along with all their supplies. Fortunately. Mallory rescues the boy and docks the boat near a show. She then wants the children to stay put before heading inside the woods to look for supplies. Using a thin rope, she locates an abandoned hospital where she collects some food items and clothes. As Mallory hurries outside the building, the entity can be heard calling her name. Meanwhile, at the show, the little girl becomes anxious as it has been an hour since her mom left. So she disobeys Mallory's order and heads inside the jungle to search for her. Unfortunately, the entity starts talking to her, suggesting she remove her blindfold and see the green forest. The little girl becomes convinced, but right before she can do it, Mallory arrives and takes her away. Together, the three then get on the boat and resume their journey. Back in the parks, Olympio lags a stranger named Gary into the house against Dragula's wishes. Char knocks Dragula out and the others lock him in the garage. As Olympio and Mallory go into labor simultaneously, Gary walks on drawings of the creatures he has seen before. He knocks Tom unconscious and opens the garage door. Exposing travelers to the entities, Gary goes upstairs and rips all the window supplies. Olympia fails to look away, and after witnessing the creature, she dives out the window, killing herself. Mallory hides with both newborn babies under a cover while Gary forces her to look at the entities, causing her to stab herself in the neck with a pair of scissors. Dragulus escapes the garage and blindly attempts to kill Gary with a shotgun, wounding him in the process. But Gary kills him with the scissors. Tom begins to recuperate shortly after fighting Gary over the gun. After Mallory hears a few gunshots, Tom approaches her to say everything is fine. Five years pass by and Tom and Mallory have been living together with the children called Y and Gail. Even the bugs are alive and well. One day, they receive transmissions from survivors informing them of a safe community hidden in the forest, accessible only by boat along the river. As they leave their house, a group of unblindfolded survivors attacks them. Tom distresses the assailants, so Mallory and the children can flee. He uncovers his eyes and shoots all the attackers. But after seeing the entities. He kills himself. Meanwhile, Mallory and the kids reach home. There, she starts briefing them about their journey, as shown at the start of the movie. In the present, it's been 42 hours, and they have finally reached the deadly rapids. Soon after the three reach show, they are separated when Mallory accidentally slides down a hill. The entity uses Mallory's voice to trick the kid into taking off their blindfolds. Mallory regains consciousness and tells the children where to find her. Then they meet each other again and follow the sound of the box, and they eventually reach the community, a former school for the blind. Mallory releases the box and finally gives the children names Tom and Olympia. 
admitting that she is their mother. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. That will you will know every time a new video is uploaded. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.